to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Harakakodash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles, elders, the bishops of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect, the true servants of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. The American dream is over, all right? That whole thought that, you know, you 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 get a good job, you work for, you know, 30 years, 35 years, whatever, you get a pension, you get a 401k, you get to retire, and you, that shit is over, all right? All right, the people, all right, are, are you know, becoming more frustrated, dis and, um, disengaged, niggas, people don't want to work, niggas don't want to go back to work, okay? People would rather make a quick buck on, on TikTok or YouTube or, or OnlyFans, that, that's, the world that we're living in. American dream is, 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 is through, okay? Where you think that you're going to just work hard and, you know, and hard work will pay off. No. Nah. Esau wants to make you a perpetual slave, all right? And, and they're accomplishing that in, in a way because they're getting everyone conditioned to, to you know, to, to, to not work, all right? Not, and, and people are to the point where they don't want to work these jobs, okay? They, even though they're getting raises, even though, they, they made, like, well, the article I'm going to read, this article I pulled up, it says, why is everyone so unhappy at work right now? And and it, and it boils down to a, a, a few a few things. Mainly, the the, the, the pay, you know, and, and the increase of inflation, it doesn't level out. So you just in a rat race, you constantly, constantly, constantly working, barely making it by, really not making it, okay? So, you, you know, you know, mainly Jake. All right, you got, you know, Edomites that's in this workforce. And really, it's the workforce that is keeping this wicked-ass country, this wicked-ass infrastructure afloat right now. All right, the workers, okay, that, that you know, that's slave for this devil, that's slave for these corporations, okay? And people, they, they, they you know, like I said, they, they the people are just frustrated with, with you know, with, with their lives, with, with, with everything that's going on, all right? You, you can see the spirit, the spirit of, of this place is... is it's, it's, it's like, it's like slowly dying. All right. People don't, people, man, like I said, these people out here are just, you know, you, you can just, you can sense it that work is, you know, the work is bullshit. Whether you think you got a good job or not, you still working for these devils. You still slaving five days, even more, uh, even more, maybe seven days out of, the, uh, out of the week just to try to make it working overtime, working two jobs. And man, Jake is getting tired of that shit, man. You know, and, and thing about it is our people are getting tired of it, but they don't, they don't know where to look. All right. For, 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 you know, for, for rest. Okay. And hey, the, the, the place for look for rest is in these scriptures. All right. The Lord said he will give you rest. All right. Hey, and this all scripture also says, this is not our rest. All right. Micah 2 and 10. Okay. But, but, you know, this is the knowledge and wisdom that our people need to seek. I know it's, it's hard out there for Jake, you know, trying to make it and, and, and you know, living check to check. All right, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Hey, that, that, that's, you know, that's the curses that were put on us. And, and, you know, not just Jake, but everyone is unhappy at work right now. I'm going to get into this article because this is the, this is really the future of America. And also, I meant to mention, you have, a, you have AI, or artificial intelligence, that's taking more and more jobs every day. You got these tech companies laying people off. You got Amazon laying people off. Amazon is, you know, they have putting robots in their factories now to do the work that they could have, you know, five workers or 10 workers do. All right. That AI is going to take a lot of jobs and people don't realize that if you do a job where you require to be on a computer or, 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 you know, or you, you know, a call center or something, AI is taking those jobs, whether it be through chat or, um, uh, uh, even now you can text. Okay. So, you got, you know, a lot of disgruntled workers out there, but, you know, they're really going to be more disgruntled when, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, takes their job. All right. And then, then what do they do? Esau is going to come with a solution and it's going to come in the form of that UBI or right, a universal basic income where Esau is going to give you uh, basically a stipend, a check every month just to, you know, what they're going to say, make up for, um, you know, money. That you know that you, you know that you don't have, or you need the extra money you need, or whatever excuse they're going to give. But they 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 rolled out this program, or they're eventually going to roll it out. They rolled out several pilot programs throughout the country at you know of course lower income areas where they know Jake needs it, and it, it's nothing but a snare. All right, like the like the elder brother 
Shaquat says in the camp, Esau always wants his money back. All right. If Esau is giving you something where you think it's free money, it ain't. All right. And we know. All right. What, what's going to come with that? That MOTB. All right. That's what Esau is going to require for you to keep that that UBI. All right. Because you got this devil Bill Gates talking about hey, We can go through a three day work week, maybe a two day work week. And you have AI or robots do the rest of it. OK. And, and you know, our people have been a come af come accustomed to that living throughout the pandemic, all right? You got niggas quitting their job because they was making more money um, through getting unemployment than they was going to work. Niggas didn't even want to go back to work, all right? You had a lot of people, you know, when it was time, they said COVID was over, hey, well, I ain't going back to work, or they changed jobs, okay? So you got, you got you know, that 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 spirit of, you know, not wanting to work, you know, is, is, is out there where Jake don't want to work. Like I said, niggas rather, you know, do TikTok videos or uh, uh, um, what is it? Uh, uh, YouTube have a YouTube page and you know get money and, and do podcasts or you know these women get on uh, uh, OnlyFans. That's what that's 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 the new jobs right there. But these people don't really want to work, all right. And, and it's beautiful because hey, the less work, hey, the faster this place goes down. All right. So let me read this article. It says Americans by by many measures are unhappier at the work than they ever been in years. Despite wage increases, more paid time off, and greater control over their over where they work, the number of U.S. workers who say they are angry, stressed, and disengaged is climbing. Angry, stressed, and disengaged. Or why, why are they angry? Because they, they, they over here working a bullshit job, and, they, and the money's not enough. It'll never be enough. All right? Esau wants to keep you, um, you know, like that hamster in the, uh, in, 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 running on the uh, little wheel or whatever. All right. They just keep going and going and going. All right. Till you till you die out. All right. Stress. People are stressed because they don't have enough money to uh, um, they don't have enough money just to barely make it just to get by. All right. I've seen a video. I don't know if it was a TikTok or um, what was it uh, on Twitter or X or whatever where this Edomite lady said she had a good job or her husband got a good job. And after paying all the bills and shit, they only had three hundred dollars left. That's reality. And she was like, shit, by the Go uh, um, by the bus out in tears, okay. And they still, you know, they, you know, you figure shit, they doing all right compared to a lot of people. But hey, that's the that's the that's the reality. And that is going to get worse, okay. People are disengaged, all right. They they don't you you go to your job, you really don't want to be there, okay, all right. And, and you know that's that's just the spirit out there, Jake. Man, they Jake knows we know. All right, a lot of Jakes are opening eyes like, yo, this job is bullshit. Where do you think you got a good job making six figures or whatever? At the end of the day, you, you got to work. You have to work. You have to do something to earn your living, okay? And, and it's, hey, it's, you know, we all got to work. But once you once you understand, you gain wisdom and understand, like, man, this shit is bullshit. You work all these hours, overtime, and you get your check, and you're looking like, man, this is some bullshit, right? You know? It, 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 and and you know, it, but it, it to Jake in Jake's mind, they see like they're this shit's never going to end. All right, in a lot of Jake's mind, they think this is the right way. Well, if I work hard, man, a lot of Jake's going to be disappointed because their pensions, their four hundred one ks, they're going to um, you know these companies are going to default on the pension payments. These four hundred one when the when the stock market crashes, when this dollar crashes, your four hundred one k is gone. All right, you saw that during the pandemic with a lot of people's four hundred one ks. They drop drastically, all right? Some of them by 50%, all right? Where if you have 500000 in your 401k, your 500000 just went to two fifty or below. Right? So I know a lot of people that have 401ks that were ready to retire right before the pandemic hit, and shit, they still working. All right, back to the article. Um, it reads, uh, meanwhile, a bamboo HR analysis of data from more than 57,000 workers show job satisfaction scores have fallen to their lowest since lowest point since early 2020 after a 10% drop this year alone. In interviews with workers around the country, it's clear that clear the unhappiness is part of a rethinking of work life, work life then that began in 2020. The source of workers this this continent range from inflation, which is erasing much of recent pay gains, to the still unsettled nature of the work day. Alright, so so you know, you get a raise, your raise is wiped out before you even got it because of inflation. All right. We talking about gas, food, 
all right? Uh, 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 if you got medicine, medicine, all types of shit is, is on the rise, okay? And and we're not even talking hyper When a hyperinflation hits, you ain't, you're going to have to choose whether you're going to put gas in your car or whether you're going to eat, whether you're going to uh, uh, pay your utilities or pay your rent or your mortgage, all right? You're going to have to, it's going to be some tough major choices out there to make, all right? While you're doing all of this, making these choices, hey, your, 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 your employer is thinking, okay, do I cut this many workers? Do I cut this many workers? All right, do I just cut these workers, cut the part-time workers, or, or, or make everyone part-time? So it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of companies are going to do what's best for them. And at the end of the day, it's going to eliminate a bunch of jobs. All right, I'm going to, you know, a lot of companies are going to bring in AI and, you know, two AI robots just took away 20 jobs. All right. That's that's the reality. This is all a part. Everything boils down to Esau's New World Order. OK, they're doing all of this, whether it be jobs, whether it be, you know, uh, um, scarce resources, scarce, uh, um, yeah, scarce resources, famine, pestilence, whether it's uh, uh, engineered by this devil or not. It's all for their New World Order. All right. That's what everything boils down to. OK, that they, they, they that's what they you know, that's their end game. All right. Um, let me look, re, re, read a little bit more. Um, okay, it says people chafe against being micromanaged back to offices, yet they also find isolating aspects of hybrid and remote work. A cooling market, cooling job market, especially in white collar roles, is leaving many professionals feeling stuck. Companies have largely moved from the pandemic operating mode, cutting costs and renewing a focus of product, product, productivity. The disconnect with workers has manage, managers frustrated and not and not quick fixes seem to be at hand. Those in charge said they have gained given staff more money, flexibility and support only to come up short. A lot of people are just, you know, they 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 get on a the job. They don't like it. They quit. All right. And, and you know, it's it's they, they gave a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, um, signing. You can say signing bonuses to come on a lot of these jobs. And, you know, they quit. They may have quit. They, 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 you know, they felt it wasn't the right fit for them or whatever, or whatever their excuse was. But it's, you know, a lot of a lot of employers are finding it um, hard to keep keep people on the job also. OK, like I said, people want that, you know, this generation, they want that quick dollar. OK, that a whole American dream, that shit died with the baby boomers. All right. That's was OK. You know, you get a, a house and a car and the wife don't got to work. That shit is through. Ain't nobody retiring no more. You got people that's fucking 70 years old still working. They can't retire. Okay? Uh, the experience of work, the experience, now nah, I ain't gonna read about that. Uh, let me go through around here. Um, let me see. I would say that this, can, that this continent has business leaders struggling for answers, said Stephanie School's chief executive. A light solutions, a technology company focused on benefits and payroll administration. Many of the Fortune Fortune 100 companies on Alight's uh, client listed boost spending on employee benefits such as mental health, child care, and well-being bonuses by 20% over the pandemic years. All the extra all that extra spend has not translated into happier employees, Sproul said. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a all alight survey of 2,000 U.S. employees this this year, 37% uh, said often dread starting their workday and 11% point rise in 2020. People, man, you when you when you have say you get two off days and you, on the, the end of your off day, your second off day, you like, man, fuck, I gotta go back to the bullshit. All right, everybody thinks that. All right, if if you if you know. You know, you you really hate this place, okay? And a lot of Jakes out there that, that they think this is the the right thing. They think this is they think this system, this setup, is um, they think this is what's right, okay? Working for this working working for this devil's 30, 40, 50 years and get some bullshit retirement, and then you 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 think that's good. By the time you retire, if you can retire. You too old to move around and do any goddamn thing, okay? So uh, let me see a little bit more. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna read all this stuff, but people, you know, this 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 place is through, okay? 
you, you, you see the moral decay of America, all right? You, you see more and more people out there depressed, okay? Uh, 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 um, you know, more people out there, you know, on drugs, drinking, okay? Uh, 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 trying to, you know, trying to escape, okay? But the only escape, you know, for our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, is this truth. Okay, where, where you know, a, where you find comfort. This is the comfort of the, the, these scriptures. Okay, but everyone else is looking for comfort in something else. All right, and a lot of these niggas out here is bugged out, looking for comfort and money, thinking they, you know, they could just chase the bag, chase the bag. You're gonna be chasing that bag till you catch a missile. Okay, these the women, these women think, you know, you know, they could, you know, trick a nigga out some money or, or OnlyFans. You know, for the rest of their life, hey, you're going to be, when the internet shuts down, when this system shuts down, a lot of women out here, hey, they, they're going to be food out here, all right? You know, they ain't no, it's, it's going to get tough, really tough out here for these, these, these proud-ass women. Okay, so let me start off with, um, I was going to get Isaiah 19. This is talking about Babylon. It says Egypt, but we know Egypt is synonymous with Babylon. Uh, Isaiah 19, and uh, I'm going to go to verse 15. It says, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rust may do. So a lot of, like I said, AI is going to take a lot of jobs. The pandemic took a lot, took away a lot of jobs. So it's going to be more job loss, job, jobs lost out here. All right. A lot of your office jobs, AI is taking that shit over. All right. If you, if whatever, you, whatever you think you, you doing and you think you unique, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a um, a computer a computer tech that's teaching AI your job right now, okay? And and and, and it's nothing you can do about it. All right, verse sixteen. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which He shaketh over it. And the Lord is really going to shake this place up. The Lord ain't really done nothing yet, okay? People can still go to work. People, you can still drive down the street safely. Okay, you can still go get gas. You can still go in grocery stores. When the Lord begins to shake this place up, you ain't going to be able to do any of that, any of those things freely. Okay, you're you going to be able to go to the store, uh, you know, and, and, and be safe. All right. Hey, shit, there ain't going to be no, maybe may not be no store to go to because these places, these stores are going to be looted. All right. Um, so these plagues are coming, man. And, 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 you know, I'm specifically concentrating on the, on the work. But, you know, hey, everyone, you know, Majority of the people, hey, got, we got to work to, to, to try to survive. But what, what happens when there is no work? Then what do you do? All right? The, hey, the, the two-thirds of our people, these Edomites, these heathens, they're going to be running to the devil for a solution. Oh, what can we do? What kind of government programs do you got that I can sign up with? All right? Hey, Esau's going to come with that UBI and several other programs like that uh, um, to, 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 you know, assist assist you in that time. But we all know it comes with a price, all right? And that price is really your, your, your life, all right? Because that it's going to come in the form of that MOTB. Just like they have the UBI that gives you, you know, gives you a certain amount of money, they're going to have UBI or a, a universal um, basic food uh, uh, um, food supply or some shit like that, you know, where they're going to give you ration out food to you or ration out food to families that, you know, that are under this program. But like I said, it comes with a price. That price is uh, that MOTB, all right? Um, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and um, 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All right. The grinders represent the workers, but they're not going to be that many workers. OK, it isn't really not going to be, you know, it's, go it's really going to be all these little uh, mom and pop stores are going to be done. They're going to be gone. All right. It's only going to be big, big. Um, uh, 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 um, what do you call it? Uh, big brand stores, the Costco, Sam's Club, shit like that. Okay, uh, um, you know your 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 um, what do you call them? Um, your uh, you know your 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 top supermarkets or whatever you know, uh, your chain supermarkets. That's what I was thinking of. You know, and, and there's gonna be a few jobs out there. Okay, people gonna be everyone's you know people gonna be fighting over the same jobs. People gonna be overqualified. All right, uh, uh, for for a lot of jobs out there. All right. Um, verse four and the bo and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And the doors represent, the, you know, these storehouses. All right. They, they, they're they're going to be shut. All right. There ain't going to be no work going on. And when the grinding is low 
and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. The grinding represents the workers. All right. Yeah. It's going to be grinded. It's going to be grinded by some AI robots. That's the only thing that's going to uh, be getting to work. All right. And they are already doing that with, you know, they eventually going to have autonomous vehicles out there. So the Amazon drivers, it, you know, that, that shit going to be non-existent somehow, some way. Esau is going to figure out a way to eliminate uh, uh, jobs, as many jobs as they can. OK, um, let me get this because, you you know, you Jake's really, you know, our people really trust in Babylon. They trust in this place. All right. So whatever, whatever Babylon puts out, they're going to believe and trust in it. All right. They're going to say, oh, OK, this is, you know, this is what we need to do to, uh, you know, to, to 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 keep what I got going. All right. But they don't realize that all this shit is about to fall. All right. Jake really don't see an end. All right. The prophets, the seers. The, all right. We see the end. The end is near. And we knew through these prophecies, through these signs, the Lord's uh, uh, sent. All right. We know that that end is near, mainly the MOTB, World War Three. All right, those are the, the main two signs of the end, along with the minor prophecies. All right, the famine, the pestilence, okay, Esau coming down with great wrath, all right, uprising to the people, all right, uh, like I said, scarcity of food, all right, those are part of the, those are the, the, the minor prophecies that we're looking for that are happening. But these major prophecies, like I said, the MOTB and World War III, they're happening also. And our people, they, they're not awake and they don't see what the hell is going on. They're just looking for a way to continue in, in folly and bullshit. All right, this is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk, they walk to go down into Egypt and then have not acted in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and trust in the shadow of Egypt. And it's a lot of jakes out there that continue to trust in the shadow of Egypt. They're thinking, oh, if I just work hard and if I just, you know, put a good 20, 30 years into this job, I'll move up and I'll have some money saved. Man, all the money that we're making is going right back to these devils. All right. To pay for this, to pay for that, to pay for this. Oh, this oh, 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 uh, 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 unexpected bill popped up. Oh, shit, I'm back in the hole. All right. And, that, and Jake don't realize these are part of the curses. We didn't come here to America to prosper. All right, to, to make it, to live big, even though you see some knucklehead ass niggas out there that, you know, that give off the image like they got money and they doing it. These niggas, they bigger slaves than us. OK, uh, 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 um, you know, the football players, the athletes, uh, um, the um, the uh, uh, the entertainers. All right. You're going to see who they, you're going to you're going to eventually see who they serve. All right. When when they Esau implements that MOTB. All right. You're going to have a lot of these people that you thought was. Like, nah, they're not solid, okay? Because they down they down with Babylon, okay? They strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, all right? They trust in the shadow of Egypt, all right? All these all these bugged out niggas out here, even Jakes and Israel, they, they trust in the shadow of Egypt. They trust in oppression. Let me scroll down and grab that. Um, Isaiah 30 and, um, excuse me, uh, 13. Therefore, this... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, uh, 30 and 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, that's Yahweh Shai, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. They don't, they, hey, they despise this truth. All right, we're telling Jake, yeah, these things are happening. All right, yeah, we know you effed up out there at the job and, and wherever your situation is. Yeah, we all are. Okay, but there's a way out of it. All right, and this truth, all right, following uh, our first repenting. All right, call on Pony, how about Shema Shah, repenting, all right, following uh, the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That's the way, all right? That's the way out of it, okay? But but Jake, like I said, they they, they trust in oppression, okay? They they uh, um, they trust in the shadow of Egypt, all right? They, they trust in the perverseness, all right? This place is perverse. The Lord says, stay there on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall whose breaking cometh sudden and at an instant so as you believe and trust in egypt you trust in your job because all these jobs that you know jake you know prides himself in or whatever your job is going to come with that motb eventually all right whether you still have one all right because hey by, by the time the motb roll around it might not be a lot of jakes out there with jobs all right the job market is, is like i said ai is taking over the job market all right some manual labor jobs that's still going to be out there but they're more than likely going to downsize also. 
All right. So your job, all right, Jake, you know, when when shit hit, when sh when shit get real and, and, and that MOTB is in a minute, Jake is, you know, feeling some type of way because they may still have a job. All right. But hey, when that when that MOTB, your job says you got to take that MOTB to continue to work here, then what? All right. Then then you, you face that hour of temptation. What you going to do? OK. Hey, that's why the Lord said right here, it's going to be like a breach ready to fall. Um, all of a, all of a sudden at an instant. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. OK, it's going to come sudden at an instant because you trust in oppression. You trust in you trust in the shadow of Babylon. You trust in America. All right. You trust in the U.S. dollar. All right. And, and you know, Jake think that a lot of these things that we see and that we, we prophesy about are far off. They happening. All right. You got Esau putting out articles about the shit. People, people not happy at the workplace. All right. Um, this is uh, Psalm 62 and 10. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not thy heart upon them. OK, hey, trust not in oppression. All right. A hey, hey, riches increase. Hey, hey, this is we have no we have no certain dwelling place. This is not our dwelling place. OK, whether you got money in this place, don't set your heart. Don't put your mind is all on your money. And, 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 you know, when when that happens, you you know, your your eyes are not open to what the hell is really going on. OK. And, and we understand that, you know, Jake is jacked up out here. All right. Jake, Jake is tired of the bullshit. Jake is tired of, you know, slaving for these devils. But the Lord, he, he got us. All right. The Lord's going to, you know, those that are sincere, the Lord's going to give us our daily bread and make sure we have what we have. All right. We, we under the curses. This is Haggai 1 and 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. We worked our asses off, but we have shit. We don't got shit. All right. We, 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 at the end of our, at the end of the day, you know, Jake don't get the saving of their paychecks. Their paychecks is gone. All right. Catching up on paying, paying bills, you know, before they got paid and paying bills that they got coming up. All right. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. Ye clothe, but ye are not warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages and put it into a bag with holes. All right. Hey, we get money. That shit is gone. Okay. And, and hey, you know, that's, that's reality. That That's, man, any Jake, can, any Jake out there, man, it, it, you know, if they being truthful, they know that that's, that's, that's our life in a nutshell. All right. Um, you know, put, put money in the bag and, and you know, with holes in it. Okay. But, the, but the, and this is, and this is, and this, this article is a testament of that because it's telling you that the, you know, you know, with the raises, with wage increases, um, the inflation is, is, is pretty much nothing. It says, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna read it again. Uh, let me start top of the article. Um, it said it with wage increases, pandemic cutting costs. It said it somewhere in there. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, the source range from inflation, which is erasing much of their recent pay gains. So, so the inflation is erasing whatever little money you got, whatever little money you thought you had. Okay. Um, I want to get that in the curses because that is a curse. All right. Like I said, Jake come here to this, to this wicked ass country thinking that, you know, not come here, but it is Jake's that come here. That's trying to make it and prosper. You better off standing in your country, where the, wherever you came from. All right. But even the Jake's here that think they, they want to, they want to prosper. They want to have this and that. I mean, like the Lord didn't set us up here for, 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 uh, to, to, to get rich. All right. The Lord put us here in this captivity as a punishment. All right. But hey, our punishment is almost up. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 39. Uh, thou, shalt, thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with oil, for thy oil shall ca cast his fruit. Thou shalt beget sons. Well, oh, actually, I wanted to start at. Um, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I think point four forty forty was the point. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I should read thirty nine. Thou shalt carry much seed out of the field and shall gather it, but but little in, for the locust shall come and consume it. So everything we put our hand forward to, hand for uh, to into the, in, in this in this society is going to turn to shit. Okay, because this is not our rest. Okay, everything that we do, everything that you you know, 
And, and you got Jake's out there that that's, you know, even if they have their own businesses, they one way or another, they struggle. They, they won, uh, 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 you know, one bad month from fucking from going out of business. All right. Um, what I say, Micah, two and ten. It, said, it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. You know, and our people that continue to believe in this place are destroyed. Their minds, their, their, their minds are, are destroyed. All right, Esau has, you know, really polluted their minds with that Babylonian wine, these philosophies that, that make you believe in this place, that make you think that, okay, you know, I'm going to prosper, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. Man, that all that shit is a setup, because everything we put our hand to, even if you, even if it may seem good for a while, it's going to turn to shit. Okay. Because I said, we're not, this is not our rest. This is not, this captivity is not set up for us to, um, to succeed to, for us to thrive. Okay. Um, this is Hebrews chapter 12 and, uh, um, 12 and 14 for we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Okay, hey, well, this is not hey, we have no continuing city, especially not here in Babylon, but we seek one to come. That's the kingdom of heaven. Okay, where we'll where we will rule. All right, where we don't have to worry about working. That we will always have abundance. We won't have to worry about you know, damn, uh, you know, my check is late or I gotta pay this bill or my check was short or none of that bullshit. Okay, let me grab this one more, one last precept. Let's see. Let's see. No, no, no. This shit, I was shy. Um, yeah, come unto me, uh, Matthew eleven and twenty eight. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Okay, hey, all you that labor, all right, hey, it's talking about you laboring in this truth, okay, hey, and, and, and you know, the Lord is, is it, and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. What is, let me look at this word laden. Heavy loaded and weighed down. Hey, that's every Jake out here, man. Heavy, <laughs> weighed down, weighed down by all the bullshit that we catch in here. Let me look it up in here. To be heavy laden, to place a burden upon a load. All right, what Jake say? You know, I got the uh, the world on my shoulders. All right, hey, the Lord's going to give us rest, an ultimate rest in the kingdom of heaven. But right now, our rest is in this truth. Okay, this is where we find rest. This is where you know we we you know we find a peace of mind for a second. You know, while we you know we study, we read. Okay, while while we prophesy, you know, in this truth. Okay. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakkuk, Shalom.